Hey everybody, F Bomb Fitzgerald here. Welcome to the second episode of Laudable Loadouts, the series where I highlight some of the more interesting, some of the more cursed, some of the more expensive loadouts I see in games. So without further ado, let's jump right in. This first loadout is a Pyroland Daydream Citizen Kane along with a Pencil Pusher with the Cloud 9 effect. Neither effect is super god tier, but I think they pair really nicely together thematically and color wise. This next loadout is a Corona Australis, which appears to have the frostbite effect, but of course that's impossible. He's wearing a frostbite hat and using the quick switch glitch to use the Corona as a miss. This loadout isn't flashy, but it's super rare and old school. The badge is a primeval warrior, which means he beta tested Team Fortress 2 in 2007. Only people who played in those three weeks of the beta test have this badge. I love this double effect. It's a secret to everybody armored authority with a aces high rack. I've always been a fan of combos where something is hovering over your head and something else is orbiting. I also love the pink on the rack as it frames the moon effect but also pairs with the eyes in the moon. This NG has a triple effect because he's running two pencil pushers because they have no equip region. I love how both orbiting effects frame the kaleidoscope effect. Our last loadout today should look familiar, because it's the bread monster loadout I highlighted in my last laudable loadouts video. The notable difference here, obviously, is that this one is unusual with the Verdatica effect. Considering this is an elite grade hat, this is crazy expensive. What I thought was particularly cool is this gentleman unboxed it himself. I hope you enjoyed these crazy loadouts as much as I did. Go ahead and let me know in the comments which was your favorite or if you've seen a crazier loadout lately. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.